Hey guys, welcome back to Fulton Street Beats. This is the controversial Chinese AliExpress um, EVH style guitar. Today we are going to install an EVH pot. That's right. We're going to piss EVH brand off even more and we're going to install this pot onto this replica guitar because they are very pissed off that I unboxed this guitar on my channel. Uh, they want to dictate what channels unbox now. Uh, unbelievable. And as you can see, we have an EVH strap. Yeah, that is cool also. So anyhow... I bought this guitar for me. This is going to be, this is my little tribute to Eddie Van Halen. Take a look. I did change the trem bar on this, not because I needed to, but I went to a nickel one. That trem bar right there is off from another Floyd Rose that is a Floyd Rose special, actually, in nickel. And as you can see, that's relic, and uh, we got the relic knob, and we're going to pull this off and see exactly what's underneath and uh, install this pot. I was going to give you guys a sound test, but I broke a high E as I was doing it, so that did not work out. So stay right there. Let's dive into this guitar, and welcome to Fulton Street Beats, guys. Okay, bear with me. We're going to try to get some, some camera work done here and get you some good angles, but... Uh, I am uh, trying to get this done today. I've been putting it off and because I, I really want to get you guys a demo out of this um, on this guitar soon. So if you guys are curious why we're here, though, I'll pull that quarter out. You can see. There we go. Yeah. Boo! Hi, guys. We're in the middle of the video. I know, but very important, very, very important. First thing that's most important is hit that like button while we're right here. Share, subscribe, hit that like button, throw a comment in the comment section below if you like all kinds of cool videos. I know this is an odd video, but hey, I wanted to throw a pot and an EVH. But the real reason I'm here right now is to tell you that we have found a winner for the Van Goa acoustic electric guitar back here. Do, 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 do. It's in the case. And we got case candy that's going to go with it, a bunch of accessories that go with it. Um, we even have a strap. i got to find that. I think it's in the other room, so I um, don't want to forget that. But we have found a winner. The random generator has picked one. And um, it's a shame because it, the, the generator didn't have a lot to choose from because very few people followed the directions, which was kind of strange. Um, so to be qualified for these giveaways, guys, you got to follow the directions. It was, it was simple. It was listed in, in the video itself. So make sure when I have a giveaway that you actually watch that video because it'll give you the steps that you need to take to win uh, whatever we're giving away. It could be anything. It could be a microphone. It could be a Floyd Rose tremolo. It could be a guitar. Yes, we've given away guitars, and this was no exception. This was another guitar. Uh, acoustic electric guitar by Van Gogh with a case and lots of case candy. A, uh, I mean, all kinds of stuff. A tuner, tuner built into it, actually, also. Strings, picks, strap. You name it, everything you need. And a really cool guitar with a spruce top. And I really like that guitar. It's a shame it didn't get to stick around, but I think we have some more on the way. So the winner is, um, i got to put this right. I'm going to show you a picture of it too here. So, But it's ass, but it's not ass like you think. It is, uh, it is the at symbol SS. See what they did there? So they're cunning. Um, 76... Yes, not spelled out, but the numbers. Loves, L-U-V-S, though. V-H-84. So you see what they did there? They did. Yes, S-76 loves. Uh, I think that's Van Halen 84. So must be Van Halen lover in the house, which is cool and ironic because we're on a uh, Eddie Van Halen replica guitar video. So... Whoever won, guy, girl, whatever, get a hold of me. You're going to go in. This is the rules. Now, pay attention because if you don't claim this, this is going to go to somebody else. And you guys have noticed that the video was taken down. I had to take the video down when we hit 5,000 subs because I didn't want the extra entries. It wouldn't have been fair to you guys to keep having people enter when I said the video that, that the contest is over at 5,000 subs. So we hit 5,000 5, subs. I took that video down and I put it in my uh, private section so nobody could see it. And then we had a generator pick a name, and that's how that works. We we're going to do a live stream, but I said, hell with it. Let's just do it because we're behind on giving this thing away because, well, we soared right by 5,000 subs. 
almost at 7,000 in like a week. It was crazy. I just thanks to everybody out there for your support. The video, the videos have been, been a hit, especially with the replica videos. People love replica guitars. They love them. Um, a lot of people hate them too. Ooh, but the ones that hate them, man, they'd like, they would kill you. I think if they could, <laughs> but most of you love them. And that's pretty cool. Cause I dig them too. I think they're awesome. But anyhow, so whoever won this guy, girl, whatever you are, as long as you're in the United States and you can provide me of proof of who you are and we're gonna, we'll verify that uh, in personal means back and forth of communication, you're going to have to go to my, um, let me, let me, let me walk you through this and, and I will actually show you here. Hold on one second. And uh, let's see if I can do this for you on the screen. Look, I'm going back to the video in a second, guys. So bear with, okay, bear with you, you, you know, bear with, uh, we want to make sure that we, that we get these, uh, th this out properly. So um, what we're going to do, well, i got to turn this down. Hold on here. When you go to my channel, you're going to go up to the About section. You're going to click on About. And if you're going to look down there, and there's going to be right there, there you go on the bottom, it's going to give you my email address right at the page, okay? Let's go to that. Take that uh, email, and you're going to want to email me. So ask76lovesvanhalen84, I think it's Van Halen 84 uh, email me right away brother you got like 48 hours man the clock is tick 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 ticking and at the end of 48 hours from now mark it right now boom right now 48 hours from right now if you have not claimed this prize there will be another winner picked so hey it's up to you all right guys uh let's get back to the video hope you like these kind of wild style giveaways thanks guys here we go legitimate quarter on there they put on there very strange i think i'm gonna actually try to clean that up a little bit i think it's a little too tarnished but i don't know it's pretty cool at the same time let's set this over to the side for now and let's pull off our pit guard ah and a horrible a horrible uh, shielding job but uh that works just a small cf pot uh we'll get this pot out and we'll really rewire in this authentic EVH pot. You see that EVH? Authentic. That makes this guitar one step closer to being authentic. Oh, that pissed him off. Stay right there. Okay, so there is our wiring, and we are going to wire this up exactly to this pot, exactly like they have it. Um, from the factory for this guitar. Why? Well, because it works. It's that simple. Okay, stay right there. Yeah, that's horrible. Wow, that's horrible. Wow, I don't think... I did not expect that. I did not expect this. Listen. <laughs> wow. And what's nice about a guitar that's pretty, it would be normally considered a pile of dog poo if it, uh, in the real world, being a uh, relic DVH. It doesn't make a difference, really, if you put any scratches on it. There we go. Got some shielding on there. A little thicker, a little, uh, little better quality. We're going to have to enlarge this hole for the pot. So after looking at this in the pit guard, you'll notice when it's when it's in, it actually sticks way up, way too high. So we're gonna have to put a spacer in underneath, and then uh, we'll throw it back in. Okay. After debating on what exactly I was gonna use for a spacer, what I actually use is uh, one of these rubber um, guitar strap locks, and uh, just hold your strap on. Um, to your strap button and but it makes a nice insulator and it sits it's going to sit on there nice and make thing every, everything snug up nice and firm so that is going to work out fantastic now we'll throw that in and put on our washer 
and now we'll have a proper uh, space for our for our tone knob. Now the tone knob on this is actually going to have to be drilled out a little bit to also fit. We can maneuver this now that's very nice and tight now just without even tightening that so that shows how that's going to work. Um, but um, it's insulated we don't have to worry about anything contacting or coming close to the shielding underneath which is definitely sometimes can be an issue. So there we go and I think that looks pretty professional. Let's get it wired up. Okay, I just plugged it in. It is working. Now I'm going to shield the bottom here. Oh, very cool indeed. Now I'm going to pull, I'm going to cut this across just so we don't have a, any shielding sticking out. Pull it out. There we are. There we are. Our wires are good and connected, and hopefully everything will fit nicely. Like so. Now we can put our screws back in. And if we want to, we can pull this plate off and shield inside here real quick. Because remember, these pick this pickup is hot, very hot, and extremely hot. Actually, you know what? It's already shielded in there, guys. <laughs> it's already shielded in there. That's okay. So we don't have to do that. So they took the time to shield that. <laughs> Stuff out of the way here. Here's our old. Little CF pot worked fine. What they do is they bend their tab back. Uh, EVH doesn't give us enough room to bend this tab back. Um, and the connection back on that switch, it's just not long enough. So we couldn't do that, so we had to make the wire run to it. So that is how we had to do that. Now we have the tone knob, and as you can see, this is a splined tone knob. While it does kind of go on there, we're going to ream that out just a little bit. Ooh. So that took quite a bit of material off, as you can see. What we're going to do to make sure that this doesn't come off is we're going to Teflon it. And we wrap it. Oh, very nice. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, there we go. And it does work. Um, if you guys want to hear it real quick, uh, it's not tuned up, but you can hear it plugged in. <laughs> See that? So what's happening? Something's grounding out on the inside. Yeah, what they did is they soldered these way too close together. So I might have to re-solder this. But... Here, cut out. Watch. So we're gonna fix those wires real quick. So the exact problem is, is if you can see this wire where they where they soldered it is at an angle. So this is pressing over and touching the other wire and I can't really, I don't think I can bend this out. If I can, I would, but I'm going to have to heat this up to fix it. So we'll have to re-solder this connection right here. Simple to do, just a pain to do, but uh, we'll take care of that right now. So it's not touching the other wire. We should be good to go right there. Is that cool? Yes, there we go. Now it's nowhere near it and we're safe to go. So we should be able to put this in and we'll put it in at this type of angle here in the jack plate. There we are. So this should be good right here. As long as we can keep that straight like this. Just snug this up like so. Pop this in like so. We should be good to go. Let's just tighten this down. Okay, so now we can just, you can hear the feedback right now. This is, this is just the uh, interference in the room, guys, so. Let's 
tune it up a bit and check it out. All right, let's see if it works real quick here. It's out of tune, just so you know. I haven't tightened down the locking nut, but let's just see if it works. Why not? There you have it. Make sure you guys stay tuned because we will be coming back and demoing this thing. We just got to wait for these strings to come in. And now who knows, we might be doing some other upgrades to this also. Um, I haven't decided on what tuners I am going to run on this yet. Probably Gotas, but I'm not really sure. Um, we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. But uh, definitely a really good looking guitar. I know the lights are on it right now making it look even more cool. Um, but it is definitely a great fantastic looking guitar appreciate every one of you for tuning in stopping by and as always remember it is rock and roll that makes the world do that twirly thing peace guys thanks